Hi, Story Wilson with RSWSolutions.com. We're going to cover some of the steps when troubleshooting the L322 Range Rover K-Bus, or Diagnostic Communications Bus. This communications bus is usually pretty trouble-free, but occasionally you run into a situation where you're unable to complete a communication session with any of the modules in the Diagnostic Bus. And what happens, what can happen, is that one of the modules in the communication bus is disrupting all communications on that bus. It's holding the bus in a state where you're, no one's able to communicate on it. And this is uh, usually a physical problem, like something physically wrong with the actual module itself, a grounding issue, but it's, it's preventing any communication on the diagnostic bus. So there's a few ways to work with this problem. Um, first thing to do is most likely the first thing to do is to check all the fuses. Now this is a known problem with Land Rover. Land Rover has a technical service bulletin on this. But generally you want to start checking fuses and make sure all the fuses for each ECU is in an acceptable condition. Um, you start with checking fuses in the glove box for all the major communicate for all the major vehicle modules and then move to the engine compartment fuse box for all the major communication modules. So the engine ECU, you know, the lighting ECU, the instrument panel, ABS, air suspension. Start moving systematically through every one of these fuses and checking them to make sure that they're okay. Then um, once you've gone through all these fuses, it, and you know, then you would test communications again after that. Um, if you still have trouble communicating, you know, then you're stuck with the possibility that it's one of the ECUs that's physically pulling down the communication line and in that case you need to start disconnecting the ECUs systematically one by one physically disconnecting them from the vehicle communication bus and this can be difficult so I'll, I'll, I'll save you some trouble nine times out of ten there's uh, one or two culprits to this problem usually it's one of the headlight modules it's either the left or right headlight module and I usually start with them. If I'm faced with a vehicle that has trouble communicating on the diagnostic bus, I disconnect the headlight modules one at a time, uh, connector C0009 and C0011. And start with the headlight module, it's the easiest to access first, then test communications, then work with the one that's stuck behind the, uh, the, the air intake filter and work with that one. Uh, but hopefully you get a, a rough idea of what you're dealing with. It's it's a very common problem, unfortunately, uh, and and it, it it there's no easy fix. You know you can check the fuses, but most likely you've got an ECU that's bringing down the whole diagnostic bus, and that's going to prevent any communications. So the best option is to work with the fuse, the, the, the simple things first, the fuses, and then systematically go through and start disconnecting the ECUs. Also, take care to not disconnect ECUs that are system critical like the SRS airbag system that will trigger a fault that you'll have to clear um, if you already have the Allcoms device you can clear that fault of course but be aware that when you disconnect an ECU sometimes you can cause a cascade effect where having the ECU absent from the vehicle will cause other vehicle systems to go into fault um, so just be aware that, that because all the, the modules are interdependent if one is missing, it can trigger other faults. But if you have a device like the Allcoms device that can reset those faults, you, you should be fine. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.